I'll make it clear once again what I think of West Connex and where it belongs. <laughs> what I think it belongs in the rubbish heap where we will put it. Hi everyone, thank you very much for coming here. I'll start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land we gathered on, the Gadigal of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to the elders past and present. This land always has been and always will be Aboriginal land. Now I think you might all agree with me when I say that in recent times, government after government has buggered up our transport system. But I think this Liberal National Government has taken it to yet another level. Yes. Yeah. Everything they touch, everything Gladys Berejiklian touches turns to shit. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's the light rail, whether it's our buses, whether it's the metro, whether it's museums or stadiums, whether it's bridges or whether it's ports. But their obsession with toll roads has actually reached peak madness. Sydney is set to become the capital of toll roads in the world, not just in Australia, but in the world. And what this addiction has meant is that Western X, when it started, literally was a slot under Parramatta Road. It has now turned into a monstrosity with tentacles spreading south, west, north, wherever. It's, it's all over the place. And they are really sucking, sucking the breath out of us, literally. It is going to produce more and more congestion, more and more air pollution, more and more climate change. And we know that they just give the tick of approval without any evidence whatsoever without even the design being finalized, as Jenny said. And knowing full well that this is swallowing up our homes, your homes, it's swallowing up parks, it's swallow swallowing up our wetlands. And the biggest problem we have is that it's being done in secrecy. It's hidden behind closed doors. And we must, as you have been doing, we must keep expos exposing it. It's policy on the run, and we see that now with this bizarre, massive spaghetti junction in Roselle, which no one actually wants to build. And as an engineer, I know that we are trained to solve problems, but we can't solve terribly bad, stupid, narrow-minded decisions like this interchange. And now what they're doing is they're begging infrastructure companies to come to the table for someone to please do this for them. And God knows how many more billion dollars we'll have to pay for this. Their agenda for transport is not a transport agenda at all. It is exactly, as Jenny said, an aggressive agenda for privatization. And it is us, the people of New South Wales, who will pay for generations to come. And it is the big corporations and the big tolling company, companies who will be making a mozza out of it. So thank you for your courage, for your resilience. We have to keep direct action up. But we have to keep exposing their secret deals. So what I'll be doing in the next couple of weeks is to force a debate on my motion to release all the papers for this private secret deal and tender for the sale of the West SMC. And hopefully you can be there that day. We keep you informed. And as always, the Greens will keep standing with you shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. Thank you so much, everyone.